Hello everyone and welcome back to another video today. Where today we're going to be potting up just a few of these primrose things. The what seeded naturally from the other ones. So I just shake the seeds heads at the end of the year. And they seem to grow into nice plants. So I'm gonna pot up a few of those to sell as well. And at the front wall there's quite a few bluebells that have grown so i've thinned them out so, so we can plant a hedge later on in the year so then there's not as much competition for the hedge when it gets going and so we can sell some of these bluebells in some like pots like oops try not to knock that in some pots like these we're not going to plant them like deep how you plant them in the ground i just thought these would be a nice idea because for people that don't grow things often you know just to have like a, a flower a few bluebells in a pot you know that's what people will come and buy so yeah we're going to plant some bluebells in that because that has like quite a large you know like target um customer range if you know what i mean because loads of people can buy even if they're not good at growing you know they're just going to put them in in the windowsill or something so first we're going to do these primroses i've got one in a terracotta pot here I've got some um, some little shard things. Just place them, so you're not blocking the hole, but you you're allowing water to go through it nicely, but without it washing the soil out. So this is um, about a bucket full of multi-purpose compost, and just about a spade of compost from the garden. You know, just to make it a bit cheaper and the stuff from the garden is good anyway so yeah what we're going to do so i'm just going to put, put some of this in choose a nice young plant try to get most of the roots with these i don't know if i have any scissors so what i'm just going to do is just break these leaves off carefully you know just to encourage it to grow a bit more as these are just flopping down and you don't want them to get they sort of infected with you know them lying down on the soil so what i'm going to do this has got a nice root system as you can see for a one year old seedling so i'm just going to put that in there just bury it in so that looks like a quite nice little plant and think once that's flowering just one little flower on it you know that's going to be quite eye catching especially in this weathered terracotta pot thing so yeah that should be good so let's do a few more um probably put a bigger one in this pot let's chuck some soil in this one's really really quite big this might even be a two-year-old seedling but i still think it could be a, a one-year-old seedling just because where it was growing because you know they grow in the cracks of the wall the one year old seedlings do and I pick them out which are what these are like in the in the slab sort of thing so these could do with the roots trimming I've got some old pruners here you know I haven't got the spring but hopefully we can cut these roots you know just so they go in the pot nicer and you know that may encourage them to to grow a bit more so then roots can just go over there and there we go just wait to put that in water these in at the end obviously just put that over there so i've got some smaller ones probably doing some some of these little pots got a, a very very small one there i'll just put that at the side of this one so we don't go to waste. Put that like that. Yeah, soil off that. So if the quality isn't the best because you know we're in the garage potting these up. So that's one little one there. So I'm gonna do this other one and then we'll get onto some bluebells. So now I've got quite a few bluebells, some are, you know, like singular bulbs like that. 
then others are clumps you know that one's obviously broke off there that's still got some roots on it so i might take that and plant it elsewhere you know see if that might bulb up but i very much doubt it it might be a bit too late to plant these now just take this grass out it might be a bit too late to plant these as as you can see put them in pots like that so i've got to put them roughly about halfway so they can grow nicely so i might even be able to sell these in a in a few weeks if they flower and the weather you know warms up a bit just for a, for a few days it can send them into bud so yeah let's plant these so see that one's been on its side but like i said we're not good to plant these as if you was planting them in the ground in the ground to plant them a lot deeper um and if this one was planted in the ground you'd probably plant it up to about there so yeah these, these are just going in pots someone's probably might even just chuck these or just put them on the garden or something because the sort of people i think that might buy these are just gonna you know put them on, on a wall or something so what i'm gonna do just get a few some are smaller but you know you don't want them all to go to waste I'll put them in like sort of naturally, if you know what I mean, like naturally positioned so it doesn't look too, too formal if you know what I mean. Cram a few in. They've got like re really white roots, but these do spread if you put them in the sun. But they can also grow on like woodland floors very well. So what I'm going to do is just bury these a bit. This white and yellow should should turn green and they'll firm up and everything once they're they've got grown in this pot. So that's one. I've got a, probably about another 30 to do. Probably gonna sell these about 50p each quite cheaply. But we'll still make some profit on these. So let me have a look for a clump that I took up. Um I think this is good example some of the the ones the young bulbs you know ones that have been growing from seed you know sort of grow quite oddly shaped but you know they do split and grow very fast so i think i might plant some of these on the allotment and then this time next year you know i've got twice as many so i'm just gonna put that like that so yeah it is very very nice and I could just sell that now if I wanted to, but I think I'd sell more of them quicker if I just had them flowering. These look like quite a nice big clump that I'm going to do now. I'll put them in this large green pot. You know, that's it's quite a big clump. I don't know if you can see it because the sun's glaring through the window a bit, but you know, that that's a nice clump to just put straight in this pot. They've still got some soil around them, but that should save some money. I think that's some slug eggs there, so I just crush them. So, yeah, just chuck some soil around these. Like so. So, let's say £3.50 for a bag of compost. We're taking about a bucket or two off the, off the garden, which is nothing, it's just soil really good soil mix of compost and everything it's been added over the years but yeah old recycled pots you know it's a good way to make a little bit of money probably so yeah i'll come back once i've done about i don't know another 30 right then i guess i'll i'll see you in um half now for me and two seconds for you right then so i have done only 20. these are all the bulbs that i've dug up so far i might do more but we'll have to see they do look very nice already before they've flowered i'm just going to give these a water in as well so yeah we've got exactly 20 plants if i sell all of them for 50p that's 10 pounds um i could even sell some the larger ones like those ones there for a pound some for 75p but we'll have to see we don't want to make everything too complicated 
but um, yeah, just have a look at those. So I'm gonna I'm gonna get the the hose pipe and give these a good watering in. Hopefully it shouldn't freeze tonight, but these should be perfectly fine. if you'll be able to hear me with all this wind because I haven't tested out like the wind sock thing in really hard winds like these just see and that's really not doing it now I want to, to show you but everything is really shaking around so yeah I've just watered all those in they're not probably gonna stay here more than a day just wait, wait for the soil to soak in and I'll probably move them elsewhere so yeah, that's that. Be sure to click subscribe with notifications on so you can follow these and see how much money I make with them. I might, I'm definitely going to grow some more plants when the weather warms up as well to sell. So yeah, we'll see how much we make. So be sure to click that subscribe button and leave a like on the video. It really does mean a lot to me. We're now over 320 subscribers. So thank you very much for that, and I guess I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye, everybody.